Hello, my name is Esther Sari. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to talk about a very important topic, high demand jobs in Germany. Yes, yes. Let's talk about money. Yes, so there are certain kinds of jobs in Germany that if you are professional, it's very easy to get these jobs. And so in no particular order. But before I start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, subscribe, share, like, and thank you so much for being my subscriber and viewer. And so to begin with, there is a great job opportunities in Germany. And there is a gap which is called uh, a job gap um, specialist. And this, these specialists are called STEM. S -T -E -M science technology engineering and mathematics so if you fall under any of these categories there is a higher possibility that you can find a very good high paying job in germany this is these career or job opportunities are not only for germans but also for internationals foreigners and experts the first high demand job i would like to talk about is um, software developers, architects, and programmers. In this field, of course, German is important, it's required in most of the fields, but for software developer, for instance, German is not, uh, it's demanded though, but if you have English background with a bit of German, there's a higher possibility that you can find job in this particular field. Software developers, for instance, develop uh, software programs computer programs and software and they also test existing software programs for errors and solution so we we'll talk also about the salary for software developers and so uh, this is just a range and salary also depends on their location of the job and your experience your qualifications so uh, this is just a range and yeah so for software developer for instance the average gross annual salary is 61,200 euros. And there's also demand for the second one is electrical engineers. You know, in Germany, Germany, there are a lot of manufacturing companies like VW and Bosch and the rest. So if you find yourself in this kind of electrical engineering, for instance, VW want to start pro the production of electric cars or they've already started, but they want to expand it. And so there's a demand for such kind of specialist. The third is nurses and senior caretakers or workers. So Germany has an aging population and they need people. I think this particular food cuts across globally, especially in developed countries. There are a lot of aging, the population is aging. So people, especially foreigners are needed to assist in taking care of the aged and nurses, yeah, nurses are demanded almost everywhere. And so, yeah, this is also a good profession. And for nursing in Germany, you don't have to go, to, there's a possibility to attend university to become a nurse, but you can also do something they call Ausbildung. In English, um, that is vocational studies. So just study for nursing three years as a vocational, yeah, this all build on and you become a nurse and you earn good salary. And yes, and also for the senior caretaker workers also. The average annual gross salary for nurses is 37,000 euros and for caretakers is 32,000. Yeah, I think that's a good amount. As I said, depends on location, experience. Yeah. The next profession is sciences. So sciences and natural sciences, biology, physics, chemistry, mathematics. is also demanded. You know, the world is growing towards technology. And so anything in relation to technology, you are good to go. Engineering, technology, sciences, you have a higher opportunity. But in these fields, you need a university degree and most time you need probably a master's and if you have a PhD, it's also a good opportunity to, to undertake research 
For instance, there's COVID and so there's also research ongoing on how to find solution, a lasting solution to COVID and so, yeah, this is also a good field. Yeah, and so I can't give an, uh, a salary range for this field because these are different fields and sciences and it depends on the institution or the company or the university location you experience yeah. the next one is it consultant and analyst and so this field also german is not a major requirement but of course if you have german then you have a high opportunity of getting a job in the it sector and data analysis so you need to be good in programming with all this data, uh, data analytical softwares and then you find and for this field i think the indians have done so well in that and they've gotten a lot of jobs i know some who can speak good in german but found job in the it sector and the salary range for it consultant and analyst is between 60 to 98 000 euros per annum this is the average gross annual salary that's good money right <laughs> yeah but it also takes a lot of learning understanding computer language that's a lot <laughs> next field i would like to look at are doctors doctors are needed everywhere just and so uh, if you're a doctor but there are some requirements one you need german because of course you've been interacting with patient patients who are native Gem german uh, I was I call it postdoc or PhD German and so you will have to learn German to practice as a doctor in Germany and you have to write uh, the doctor's license exams to also practice so I've actually met so far two as I'll say three foreigners who are uh, doctors in Germany and so it's possible they might require some time to become an a doctor because of course you need to learn german so probably to c2 or c1 level and write this as arms and pass before you can start working as a doctor these clinics there's a demand for doctors and hospitals and the salary range is between 65,000 to 85,000 euros gross average gross annual salary good money right the last on my list is production assistants or um, logistic workers and so we German is into production and so if you you are skilled in any of the engineering these are vocational training you can undertake and then you become a skilled person it doesn't matter I mean in Germany I think for the vocational training they have it for almost every field if you want to be a carpenter, you go to vocational, you can go for vocational, mason, any of the uh, artisanal, anything artisanal, you can just go to a vocational school for three years, a vocational training, they call it Ausbildung, and you earn also good money compared to someone, someone who is on skill doing the same work as you in a company. And so these are the opportunities you have to look out for. Um, it's not just enough to just pick a program. Oh, yes, I got this program to study. But you also need to look at what is demanded. What are the possibilities that when you finish, you could find a job probably here in Germany or elsewhere in the world. And for most of these few in terms of those working as the health sector, IT, these are demanded globally everywhere and then it's a good opportunity for anybody who is interested maybe to study and work in germany or to just work in germany there's also but of course before you can work in germany you need a work permit and i talk about this what documents you need and what requirements are needed to get a good or if your dream job in germany and this video up here so you can have a look at it also and then if you have any other topics don't forget to comment, to subscribe, and before I, fin I, before I end this video, I would like to ask so far what has been your experience in Germany in terms of job search, 
in terms of studies, in terms of getting a journal of language, just write it in the comment section and I'll leave all the details in the description. Thank you very much. My name is Remain Estasari. See you in my next video. Subscribe, share, like.